The battle lines have been drawn over local art. At stake, millions in funding for pieces of public art at different, uh, with different Hawaii artists. Our Paul Drew shows us why a crowd came to the state capitol to oppose cuts by lawmakers. This could take out my organization. This bill could, it makes me have to fire my staff that is born and raised here in Hawaii. And I think that we're really overlooking the deep human impact that this will have on our entire state. Artists and art lovers paint a bleak picture of what could happen if Bill 1807 becomes law. It would be a, a very severe uh, cut that would be felt statewide. Hawaii has thousands of works of art in public places because nearly 60 years ago, the legislature decided 1% of new state building construction costs would go toward acquiring art. A later legislature expanded funding to also include 1% of building renovation costs. That adds up to about $4 million each year for artwork, local artists, and art education, including this display of students' works of art meant to help inspire the next generation of artists. I feel like it's kind of cool that they're doing a full thing to show the students art, I feel like, to display it for the public to see. I feel like that's kind of cool. But under the proposed bill, only money from new construction projects would go toward the state's art fund. It looks like it would be a 90% cut in our revenue, and that would affect this museum, the Artists in the Schools program, and also the acquisition of new works of art that um, we do yearly. In addition to the possibility of the art museum closing its doors and fewer visual works of art in public places, the bill could also impact some cultural events. Like the King Kamehameha Floral Parade, which also receives money from the State Foundation on Culture and the Arts. Artist Sam came down to the state capitol to show off an outfit made of sunrise and sunset pictures sent in by residents, which he crafted into a sundress to demonstrate to lawmakers how art can inspire people. It inspired me to become part of the scene, and that's how I was able to make this and eventually become an artist myself, which is something I never thought would happen with me. But I'm really glad it did, and it's because of the arts on this island. A crowd came out to the state capitol for a committee hearing for the state senate to fight for art in Hawaii because they don't want to picture the islands without a vibrant culture of creativity. Imagine a Hawaii without arts and culture, without fabric, dance, visual arts, and more. Imagine its lack of vibrancy and mana. Imagine a place where Kiki have little to no access to art education because organizations like ours do not have the funding to bring this education into the schools. Artists and fans of art got their message through to lawmakers as committee members deferred the bill for this session, effectively killing the measure. Paul Drews, Island News.